With Nintendo having such great properties, such as Mario, Metroid, and Zelda, you can't help but get nervous or even uninterested when they announce a new IP. They certainly proved many skeptics wrong with the 2015 release of Splatoon. They managed to take a game genre they don't usually make, twist it a bit, and released a game that took the world, or mainly Japan, by storm. Now they're back with the release of ARMS, a boxing game for the Nintendo Switch that has their own Nintendo flair added right in. This is Geeks Between Worlds' review of ARMS. In ARMS, the player gets to choose from a roster of different characters, each with their own fighting styles to duke it out in arena-type matches. This isn't your normal boxing game, though. The fighters can equip extendable weapons, or ARMS, with their own unique abilities. Players choose their weapons of preference, then jump, dodge, grab, and punch their way to victory. Some ARMS are straight shooting, others curve, and some even have elemental abilities. Like most Nintendo games, it's simple enough to just pick up and play, but can be very difficult to master. Learning things like blocking beat supers and grabs over power blocks are a few things one must learn to start playing harder difficulties or online. What really sets this as a Nintendo game is the amount of detail put in the characters, the level design, and especially the music. The main menu theme is something you'll be humming for days after playing. They put such detail into the initial 10 characters' design, backstory, and even their own special stages. They all have their own abilities, like Ninjara, who can teleport when he dodges in midair, or Master Mummy, who gains health while he blocks. They also all have their own unique arms, but there's a way to purchase other characters' weapons that I'll get to soon. Weight class also plays a big part since bigger characters can take blows without flinching, while smaller ones move around much more quickly. ARMS will also follow Splatoon's model of DLC, which means free new characters, levels, and weapons. One has already been announced to be released in July. With such memorable characters, it's only a matter of time until we see some show up in other Nintendo games. Please give us Min Min and Mario Kart Nintendo. The game runs at a constant 60 frames per second on both handheld and docked, which it needs for being such a fast and twitchy game only dropping to 30 frames per second on 4 player split screen. As if the 720p on handheld mode wasn't beautiful enough, the 1080p in docked really is mesmerizing to watch, especially when you go to replay a match and switch the camera angles. Being a Nintendo game, there are also tons of control options to choose from. I prefer the pro controller route, but once you're used to the motion controls, they become a viable option. Playing with the Joy-Con sideways was the hardest, mainly for switching your target, but it was still possible, which is great for when you want to take the game on the go. There's a ton of different game types to choose from in ARMS, ranging from 1v1, team battles, and even non-traditional ones like V-Ball, volleyball where if the ball hits the ground it blows up. These types are all used in the different single player and multiplayer modes in the game. Grand Prix is the equivalent to the single player campaign. You fight nine opponents with you or a friend and then finish off the champion to take the belt. This mode and the help menu is where you get the backstory of the characters, but I wish they would have had more interactions with the opponents you fight, whether they had been cutscenes or text. There's also a versus mode where you can play up to four players on all the different game types and even change the rules. For example, infinite health, one hit KO, or change the amount of rounds. All these game types reward you with currency that you use to play a mini game that rewards you with different arms for different characters. These modes pretty much sum it up for someone who doesn't enjoy playing with others or doesn't have access to the internet. The online portion of the game is what will keep people playing for some time to come. The party match mode being the most interesting puts you in a lobby with other players while you all take turns fighting each other in various modes. It's exciting when you get a rematch against another player who beat you four or five fights earlier. You still gain currency so you can see who's best in the lobby or maybe just who has been there the longest. The ranked mode is where the heat really gets on, needing first to beat the Grand Prix on level 4 difficulty, which is no pushover. You then get to play against players where your rank matters as you try to defeat others to increase it. You can also play with friends online that you've shared friend codes with, but unfortunately can only play a mode where it's first to 20 coins. It would have been nice to play with a friend in the party match mode against others. Nintendo pulls it off again with the release of ARMS. It's a truly beautiful game that's fun for casual players and hardcore gamers. Single player will keep you busy for a while as you beat Grand Prix with different characters and try to unlock the different ARMS. 
Online play will however be the main reason people play this game for months to come. Only drawbacks being not having a more story driven Grand Prix and limited ways to play with friends online. GBW gives ARMS a 5 out of 6. Thanks for watching our review of ARMS. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do so by clicking the link below or watch more videos by Geeks Between Worlds right here.